How are fossil fuels made? Fossil fuels are called, fossil, because these fuels are preserved carbon-hydrogen remnants of ancient life. The three main types of fossil fuel are coal, oil, and natural gas. Coal forms from plants that accumulated in ancient swamps. Woody organic matter, when coalified, produces some of the best coal in terms of energy content or BTUs. The fossils found most closely associated with coal deposits are tree trunk impressions, twigs, leaves, spores, and pollen. The plants are transformed into coal inside of Earth's crust at elevated temperatures. Lower temperatures yield lignite and bituminous coals. Higher temperatures yield semi-anthracite and anthracite coals. Natural gas also forms from coal, known as coal bed methane. This coal-related methane forms biogenically, from bacteria, or thermogenically, at elevated temperatures in Earth's subsurface. Algae and various microscopic biota that accumulated along with silt and clay in layers of organic-rich mudrocks, and referred to as hydrocarbon source rocks, give rise to oil, the liquid. These hydrocarbon source rocks accumulated in ancient oceans, or seaways, and in some cases, ancient lakes. Fossils most closely associated with marine source rocks are algae, commonly Tasmanites algae in Devonian age rocks, radiolarians, sponge spicules, coccoliths, diatoms, bone from fishes, brachiopod shells, and pelecipod shells. Oil forms in the hydrocarbon source rocks at elevated temperature, inside of Earth's crust. Natural gas methane is also a byproduct of hydrocarbon source rocks. The methane can form biogenically or thermogenically at elevated temperatures. Some geologists refer to the portion of Earth's crust where the transformation of organic matter to fossil fuel occurs at elevated temperature as the hydrocarbon kitchen. Below is a microscopic image of a Devonian Mississippian age hydrocarbon source rock known as the Woodford Shale from southern Oklahoma. The Woodford Shale has formed much of the oil produced from fields in vast portions of the southern mid-continent of the United States. All fossil fuels start out as sunshine. Carbon dioxide from the air and water from the ground are combined to form sugar, oxygen is released as a waste product. This process is photosynthesis. The Earth would look like the moon if it were not for sugar from photosynthesis. The tree takes sugar and energy from sugar to make cellulose polysaccharide fiber, lignin polysaccharide like a natural hot glue, and hemicellulose complex sugar, and starch a carbohydrate complex form of stored sugar, but, easily converted back to sugar. Trees and vegetation make coal, peat, oil, and natural gas, some say that there is natural gas formed during the formation of the earth and is not all fossil fuel from vegetation. Sugar and polysaccharides contain oxygen, hydrogen and carbon. When trees are buried the oxygen reacts with the hydrogen over time and become coal. This is all a very, very simplified explanation, consider it an approximation, when we burn fossil fuels we combust them with oxygen from the atmosphere to form carbon dioxide and water. We then need a tree, some water, some carbon dioxide and sunshine to start the cycle over again. Fossil fuels are stored sunshine in chemical bondage, the CO2 is bound as well, sort of locked away in an eternal prison. We release historical sunshine from eons past that have been locked away underground to power our wants and desires. We then will need to wait for eons to get more when they are all used up. God found it right to bury the poisonous carbon dioxide under the ground and release oxygen to allow for animal life on Earth. We go around digging it all back up and putting it back, how smart are we? Life on Earth is born from one process and one product, photosynthesis and sugar respectively. The term, fossil fuels, refers to fuels derived from ancient decomposing organic matter such as coal, gas and oil. One way I used to explain it to my new crew members when I operated an 1100 MW coal-fired unit was that the energy we were delivering to the grid was recovered sunlight that arrived at our planet 300 million years ago and that had been stored since then in the coal we were burning now.